Hey everyone, uh, Masoud's here. Uh, hope you had a great day uh, for today's episode uh, because I ran a poll about uh, topics that you want to learn uh, in 2020 in my Twitter and I received that lots of you guys are interested in uh, React Native so I decided to start a series about it and uh, show you how you can get a start with uh, React Native and build awesome uh, mobile applications using this great framework okay guys let's see what we're gonna build in this series we have a, a wallpaper application uh, it can run on both android and ios with same design 90 percent 95 percent is uh, same with for, for both platforms and here we have a drawer and we have a search functionality we have a comment section we can see a list of all members of our application which is getting from the server and we can see details of every user uh, we can select some photos as to be added inside our favorites list like this one and we even can search between photos for example i want to see the cars wallpapers and you can see that our list is uh, an infinite scroller and the more i scroll go down the more i can see uh, more uh, photos about it i just need to mention that i'm gonna uh, continue this project adding some good features to this project based on your feedback if you guys think that you uh, want a more uh, features and more tutorials about react native please leave a comment in down below section and uh, push uh, the subscription button and thumbs up button in order to support me to build more videos and more tutorials about whatever that you think that you gonna need it inside your projects inside your career and your job okay let's see what i'm using to build this project uh, first of all i use react native for the main library to building mobile applications which are able to use to be used in ios and android platform and also i'm using expo for building my applications and this is a very very good uh, library and service that you can use in order to debug your applications and you don't need to uh, send your application to the app stores in order for example if you want to check your android app on in your friends uh, mobile uh, you easily can you uh, do it using expo it is great and fast and also i'm using honest flash api in order to uh, for api for uh, every picture that i'm using inside this application and the users are coming from these apis you can see that there is a good uh, uh, backend api for images they are totally free but you know uh, this kind of usage that we are building something same as on a splash website is against uh, the on a splash website terms and uh, you better add some new functionalities to your application in order to be able to publish your application because it's a tutorial uh, we did it but you know it's against the rules and you need to add more features to your project and also for building user interfaces of this project and every project that I actually use uh, I'm using a native base uh, it's a, a native environment for us to build native apps it supports both Android and iOS and it has several um, elements components uh, ready for us to use for example this search button this uh, uh, icons or these tabs are 
based on a native based library if we had to use uh, uh, react native pure it was somehow tedious for us to build everything from uh, the zero level and also I'm using ion icons for uh, my application icon uh, it's used inside native base you don't need to install it and finally if you want to just see how this app works uh, you can check the project source code it's under m developer 20 react native wallpaper project i will add it inside the description and you can fork this project if you want add or add your own features and whatever you want and for running uh, my applications i'm using blue stacks you can download it and install it on your machine and you you can also use uh, android studio emulator and run it it's better than blue stacks but you need to install android studio and download it or even if you are using mac you can uh, download xcode and run your simulator there and for code editing uh, software i'm using vs code as always it's really good guys and nothing else let's start and see how we can build awesome mobile applications using uh, react native and export